Tonight we're cooking chicken pot pie in the Dutch oven. It's January 18th and it's 21 degrees out with a 5 mile an hour wind. So I guess it feels like it's 15 out here. So right now I'm just heating up my charcoal. I've got everything already cut up inside the house. And I'm going to have you guys follow me through this. Once my charcoal's ready, I'll bring my Dutch oven out and we'll fry up the chicken. Okay, the recipe requires four boneless, skinless chicken breasts, halved and diced, three tablespoons of bacon grease or olive oil, four cloves of garlic minced, one yellow onion diced, four medium potatoes diced, um, mixed vegetables, two 10.5 ounce cans of cream of chicken soup, half a cup of evaporated milk, one and a half tablespoons, teaspoons of poultry seasoning, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper uh, to taste, and one can of refrigerated crescent rolls. All right, so charcoal's pretty much ready. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of lay them out flat so I can put my Dutch oven down here. So I want the bottom of my Dutch oven to get really, really hot. directions say put uh, 20 to 22 on the bottom and I'll put a couple more it's so cold and windy out here so I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil I've got my chicken with my garlic already in it. And I'm just going to cook the chicken until it's done. Okay, next step. I 
I add the potatoes and onions to the batch. And I wait till the onions are more or less translucent. Check and see how these taters are doing. How these onions are frying up. All right. Onions looking pretty good. Next step is we add the vegetables. We got the vegetables here, the Worcestershire sauce, the uh, creamy chicken soup, the chicken seasoning, pretty much everything else except the crescent rolls. Okay, and now I gotta put in the evaporated milk. Mix this up real good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the mixture um, come to a low boil. And then when that's done, next step will be putting the crescent rolls on. Okay, so now I'm going to reduce the heat. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to have like 8 to 10 briquettes on the bottom and uh, 14 to 16 on top. Five o'clock. See, it feels colder out here now. Oh, it's 23, so maybe it's just it's windier. Yeah, the wind's up a little bit more. Still feels like 15 though, according to the wind chill. All right, so I'm gonna do a real quick check to see if the uh, how close the potatoes are to being done. Because that is kind of the key to the whole thing. I do have a little boil. We are ready. We are ready for the crescent rolls. We put the crescent rolls on. And uh, away from the brown. This is gonna be fun. So all I'm doing is just laying the crescent rolls on top. In no particular order. All right, I'm going to check the uh, color of the rolls. Okay, they're not browning up kit quite yet, so I'm going to add some more briquettes to the top just to get a little bit more of a cook going on in there. A little bit more heat. Because the rest of the mixture is already done. We're just waiting on the uh, browning of the crescent rolls. Alright, that should do the trick. Just let that there cook a little bit. Brown those babies up. Alrighty, they're starting to brown up.
We're gonna call this good. Call it done. We'll check it out inside and see what it looks like. I'm gonna take it inside. Alrighty, there it is. It looks yummy, smells yummy. I'm ready to dig in. All the extra briquettes that I had, put them into the fire, into the stove. So, and they're not, they're not going to waste. But, there you go, chicken pot pie, Dutch oven style. If you like this recipe, please like the video, share the video, or make a comment. Thanks for watching.